Good morning. Today we're going to learn how to make a slideshow using Google Slides. This is Google Slides and it helps us make presentations that, so that we can show information to large groups of people. This, as you probably know, is a slide. Children slide down the slide on the playground. This car is sliding. It's in a slide. That's very dangerous. Not a good thing. This is a sliding glass door. The doors slide and they're made out of glass. This is a slide projector. This is where we get the word Google Slides from. This technology is kind of old technology. Now that we have computers, we do all of this in the computer. But this is what we used first. This is a slide. It's a photograph, a picture on a slide and it slides down into the machine and the light shines the picture up onto the wall. So that is where we get the word Google Slides and what we're going to do is we're going to look for Google Slides on the internet and if you have trouble finding it your teacher will help you but I'm just going to go to Chrome Web Store and it should be right there. There it is. Google Slides, you see the Google Slides icon so you know it's the right thing and I'm going to launch, I'm going to start the app. So here we go. The first thing you do when you open Google Slides, the first thing is going you're going to choose a theme. These are all the themes. A theme is a background design for all of your slides and they'll all match the same design. You can choose any of these that you like. You'll know you've chosen it because there's a blue box around it. Click on it to make the blue box and then click OK. I don't know what I just did. I clicked an extra time and it went. But you should click on it on the one that you want. When there's a blue box around it, then click OK. And then you get it. First thing you're going to do is, is make a title. A title is the name of something. The name of a movie is the title. The name of a book is the title. The name of your slideshow is the title of your slideshow. And I'm just going to name this my name. That's my name. And then a subtitle. Sub means underneath. So a subtitle is a is the smaller part of the title. And I'm going to say who, who I am. Who I am. Kathy Mae Dickinson, who I am. I'm going to make a slideshow about myself, about who I am, things that I like. So now I have my title slide. I want another slide. Right over here we have a red plus sign. You know, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. I want to add a new slide. Add another slide. So I click on the red plus sign. And then I've got a title for this slide. And I'm going to name this. I'm going to put the title for this slide. I'm going to write, I like to knit. That's something I enjoy doing. It's a complete sentence. I'll put a period at the end of it. Now I want a picture here. I think it would be lovely to have a picture. So I'm going to go over here and you see there it says image. The other thing I could do is I could go to insert, click on that, and choose image here. Image is a picture, but I'm going to choose this shortcut to image. Now I have a lot of choices in front of me. I can go to a picture that I've already saved, which is what I am going to do. What you can do is you can go to search and then you can type in this box right here, knitting or knitting or whatever. It didn't give me anything. Knit. People knitting. There we go. So then it gives me some pictures. And uh, you can choose any of the pictures that you like and then click select, the blue word select. And it will put it right in your document. I'm going to go to my drive and get a picture that I already saved. I'm going to pause just for a second while I do that. So here it is. I have I've chosen this picture, so I select it. It's in my drive. It's a picture that I already chose. You'll use search to find something on the internet. So then I hit select. And there's my picture. Now, obviously, it's very big. I can resize. All of these allow me to resize. If I choose the corner, the picture is going to stay the same. But I could also choose the side 
and then it'll squish the picture. You can squish it any way you want. If you use this, the corner though, it, the picture will stay the dimension, the way it was. It won't get squished. It'll go top and bottom the same. When the picture is the size you want it to be, then Google Slides, see that red line right there? That lets you know that the picture is in the middle. I also want it to be sized this way, so let's make it a little bit smaller. And check my, my centering again. There we go. I've got red lines vertically and horizontally, so I know the picture is right in the middle where I want it. Just right. I like to knit, and there's a picture of people knitting. I want to make one more slide, so here it is, and I'm going to write my dream job is an English teacher. I'm going to go ahead and put a enter there to make it two spaces. And again, I already know the picture that I want to use. Whoops. I don't want to go there, I want to go here. Back to image, and this is the picture that I want. You can take a picture, you can upload a picture from your camera, you can search the internet. I'm going to choose this picture. It's one that I have already selected. Select means to choose. So I'm going to use the boxes again and make the picture nice and small so it will fit on my slide. And then I click and hold the left click button while I move it over so that I have the lines that show me that it's right in the middle. And then I let go of the click and it goes right to its spot. So there you go. That's all that I'm going to do today. When you make a Google Slides presentation, you can have as many slides as you want. There's no limit. I only have three, but that's just for my example here. You can have many pictures, many slides in your presentation. That's all I'm going to do right now. Now, but the next thing I'm going to show you is very important. I'm going to show you how to save. When you go over here to file, there's no way that it really says save, but that does not mean that you can't save. What you do is you rename it. Right now, it's named Untitled Presentation. If I try to go onto Google Drive and find Untitled Presentation, I won't find it. So I need to be sure that I rename it so that I can find it when I want to call it up later. And I'm going to call it Kathy Mae Dickinson, who I am. Good title. So now that is the name of this presentation. So when I go to Google Drive, I can find it when I want it later. The next thing I want to do is share this with any of my friends. If I want to share it with my teacher or with a friend of mine, I can type in that person's email address right here. Uh, there we go. Let's save it with this person. She's a friend of mine. And then I just hit share and save. And then that person will also be able to see it. Okay. And I want to upload it. So I go make a copy. I'm going to pause just a second while I figure this one out. I'm going to go to download. If I want to email someone this slideshow and they don't have Google Drive to just share it on Google Drive, but I want to send it in an email or post it to Canvas or something like that, then I need to download it from Google Slides into my computer and then I can post it somewhere else. I'm going to choose one of these formats because Google Slides is only available on the Internet and I want to be able to use it offline. So I'm going to choose Microsoft PowerPoint but any of these that work you can use. So then I'm just downloading it. Here it is right here. Download as a PowerPoint. It's still working. We need to give it some time. Then I can save it in my computer and it'll be in my documents as a PowerPoint document. PowerPoint is the Microsoft brand of Slideshow. Google's brand is called Slides, 
Microsoft's brand is called PowerPoint. Sometimes you'll hear people say, do you have a PowerPoint? And that's what they mean. They mean, um, do you have, woo, do you have a slideshow? So I'm, yeah, yeah, so it's opening the PowerPoint. We're not going to worry about that right now. It doesn't need to do that. That's how you do it. So you have learned how to open Google Slides and then how to name it, make your title show, your title slide, add more slides by clicking new slide, in, in, insert pictures by clicking on image. You can also write words here. You don't have to only have pictures. You can type here. And you can make it like this. Woo. Knitting is fun. Look at that. And now I have words and slides on the same. Words and a picture. And then when you want to show it, you click over here on present. And now it goes to full screen. And you can see what you've done. I have made a slideshow. It's thinking. Let it think. Oh, let's go back to the beginning of my slideshow. Kathy Mae Dickinson, who I am. I like to knit. My dream job is ESL teacher. And then I exit. Have a great time. Have fun playing around with Google Slides. And we'll see you next time.